so in this question we tackle a very classic problem where we have sort of a test result which which suppose which is supposed to detect a fault or for instance an illness here it is a technical fault and we want to figure out what the probabilities are once we get a positive test result what, what's the probability that one of the underlying faults has occurred so the example here refers to three possible faults and they are labeled A, B or C and we have unconditional probabilities okay so we know that in 30 percent of cases we get fault A in 10 percent fault B and in 60 percent fault C so this is actually a manufacturing process which pretty often goes wrong. That's a very difficult one clearly. And we have a uh, test which detects whether there is a defect or not. Now D is the event that the test detects a defect. But D could detect any of these A, B or C. And the information we now need to proceed further is what is the probability that the te test detects a particular fault. Here for instance given there is a fault A, so conditional on A, what's the probability that we detect the fault? And the answer is 60 percent. And we have similar information for conditional on defect B existing, what's the probability of the test detecting it? It's 0 0.2, so quite clearly detecting defect B is much more difficult than detecting defect A, what about defect C? Well there's a 70% probability that our test detects such a fault. So now the question is if a test detects a defect which of A, B or C is, most, is the most likely cause? So what we are after is probabilities which are conditional on D okay conditional on the test having said there is a problem and in particular we are after the probability of A conditional on D probability of B conditional on D and the probability of C conditional on D so we're given the hint already that we these are the probabilities we need to find and that we need to use Bayes theorem now of course you know Bayes theorem in your sleep okay the conditional probability is the same as the joint probability divided by the marginal probability of the conditioning event so we can do that for for each and here as well probability of C and D I should have the little R's conditional on the probability of D so now faced with this let's first start thinking about that probability in the denominator probability of D probability of the process or the test detecting a mistake okay, so probability of D now we can think about well we know how often A, B and C occur and we know how often we detect these guys and this is all good this is like the you know how often does the test detect if there is indeed a problem the information we don't have is what happens if there's no defect what's the probability of D given there is no effect this is like a, a test for some illness giving a positive result if there is no illness. Now this information isn't provided and as that information is not provided we will be unable 
to calculate the probability, the unconditional probability for D. We will be unable to calculate that. However, this probability occurs in each in each of these probabilities and we are only asked to compare these three probabilities. So we'll still be able to compare in the sense, for instance, the probability of A conditional on D is smaller, larger or equal to the probability of B conditional on D. So that's what we're going to do. Next step, how do we get to the numerator? Now the numerator probability of A and D, we know that can also be decomposed into a conditional and marginal, so that's the same as the probability of D given A times the marginal probability of A. Okay, and again, divided, I'll just leave a dot here, and that dot represents the uh, marginal probability of D. And here we will have the probability of D conditional on B times the probability of B divided by the marginal we don't know. And here we'll have the probability of D conditional on C times the probability of C divided by the marginal of D. And all these probabilities we are given. Okay, so D given A is 0 0.6, 0 0.6 times the marginal of A which was 0 0.3. 0 0.3 divided by this and that is equal to 0 0.18 divided by the marginal of D then D conditional on B is 0.2, so we can see defect 2 is actually quite difficult to detect, but fortunately it is also the rarest defect, only is 0.1. Has only has probability of 0.1, so what we get here is 0.02 divided by D. And lastly probability D conditional C is 0.7, so this defect is easiest to detect, 70% detection rate, and the marginal probability of C is 0.6, 0.6 divided, so here we get 0.42 divided by the marginal of D. So now we can see if we detect a defect it is most likely, so to say, the winner is that the defect is of type C. It is second likely that the defect is of type A and least likely that the defect is of type B. Now we can sort of quantify that. It's about three times more likely of being C rather than A and about, um, what's that, nine times more likely of being A than B. Okay? But the actual numbers we cannot pin down because the, the one piece of information that is missing is the probability that we find a defect conditional on neither it neither being A nor B nor C. Right? That's the information that is missing and therefore we cannot complete the calculations.